I'm finally in Bangladesh and I'm really pleased to be here. So one DPO in particular that we visited helps women and they help women who may have come from a life of begging on the streets and saw themselves as maybe worthless or not able to, to earn a living and provide for their families. And they reach out to these women and they provide training in basic life skills, but also vocational skills such as learning how to sew. We provide them with the equipment, so the actual sewing machines that they use. We provide them with the materials and we also provide some seed money so that they can start their own businesses and generate more of an income. Um, so the, one of the biggest industries, the biggest industry in Bangladesh is the garment factory and a more recent achievement is that one of the biggest manufacturers has agreed a quota of 5% allocation of jobs for disabled people. Uh, Bangladesh is you know, extremely, or Dakar in particular, is you know, fairly dominated by a slum, you know, the slum, a slum area and I believe that 10 million people live in the slum area and we're talking about very squalid living conditions here and poor infrastructure, poor roads and so I can't even imagine what it must be like for extremely poor people, let alone extremely poor disabled people. So it was very striking and very humbling to have met with people today and uh, I really believe that the work that AD is doing is helping to change attitudes and barriers to exclusion for disabled people.